Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Auto Message Reloaded plugin. This plugin is an automatic broadcasting plugin with many features such as having messages clickable, display text on hover, and execute commands when clicked on. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section go over to the spigot tab and search for auto message reloaded. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it into your plugins folder manually. When joining the server for the first time, every 45 seconds you will get messages in chat. These will show later. It's very versatile and you can even set up nearly everything using in-game commands. Some commands include slash am help, which will show you a help page. If you want to add a message, type in slash am add, then the list name, then the index number, and then the message. You can also use color codes in that message. The list is basically the name of the category. You can set up different messages under different lists and limit who will actually receive these automatic messages using the permissions. The index number is just what number it is in the list. This is good if you want to display messages in a specific order. With the slash am remove and the slash am edit commands, you can either remove or edit a message. I'm not going to go over all of the commands as all of them can be found on the plugin page. If you're unsure on how to set up your own custom messages with commands, don't worry, you can do all of this in the config. Locate the config in the plugins folder right here. This version of the config is uncommitted, but you can find everything you need in the wiki. Also, I'm going to go over them. The enable setting here toggles whether you want the plugin broadcasts to be enabled or not, essentially turning off or on the plugin. Min players is the minimum amount of players needed for the plugin to start broadcasting the messages. The next option toggles whether the broadcast messages are logged in the console. Then you have the message lists. Currently, there are two lists named JSON and regular. You can name these lists whatever you like. Of course, you can toggle each list on or off using this option. You can change the interval in seconds and then the expiry. If you want your list to be in order, then change the random option to false. And if you want to display the messages in a random order, then change this to true. Then you have the actual messages. These ones here are formatted in JSON which allow for things like adding URLs, showing text when hovering over the message, and executing commands. Using these examples, you can modify them to create your own. The bottom examples are a bit easier to understand, so just change them up however you like. At the very bottom, you will also see that in order to receive these messages, players will need permissions. The permission will be automessage.receive and then whatever the name of the list is. It's pretty simple. Ensure that the list name does not contain any illegal characters, otherwise the plugin will not work. And that's about it. If you don't understand something in the config, go ahead and check out the plugin page for more information. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.